Monday. This morning I am going to the Sylvia Taurasi fashion show and breakfast in New York City and I need to figure out what I'm wearing and I literally have to call an Uber in five minutes. For some reason I'm in a metallic mood today so I'm thinking either this Paco Rabanne dress but this might be a little too fancy. I also don't want to look like I'm trying too hard but it is literally stunning. I could also do this metallic blouse with a flared leather pan. Love the dress but I feel like this is like still trying but maybe not trying as hard. For jewelry I'm leaving these chunky silver earrings and my gold Chanel, I might add a few more pieces. I'm trying these Proenza shoes. I know some of you think they look like duck feet, but I don't care because I'm obsessed with them. And they honestly make things look chic. I think any type of pointed toe or pointed square toe is a yes for me. Okay, cute, now we need a bag. Either of these Chanel's could work. They're both definitely giving the purple, kind of ties in the purple pants, and the camel definitely goes with the shoe. I don't know, this is hard. Added a bunch of my vintage rings. We're doing the town board sunnies. I think this look is a sir. casual luxury where you look expensive but you're also comfortable. Ooh, we look chic. Love you guys. Hey, get ready with me to go to a house party. So we're not gonna lie, I already have the outfit planned, but you guys are gonna love it. Okay, so for the pants, I'm gonna go with the black leather leggings that I've worn like a million times before. This is not the exciting part, but I just got this shirt. I'm not kidding, like the next five get ready with me's are gonna be with a shirt because I am obsessed. Like for shoes we're gonna go with my black combat boots. Um and because it's leather on leather, it's gonna make my legs like super long. Now for jewelry, I did these earrings, uh rings and bracelets, and my usual necklaces. So for bag, I decided to go with this one. Honestly, I think that it fits the outfit so much. It looks adorable. For perfume, I'm gonna do this Jo Malone one. Okay, so this is the final outfit. I hope you guys liked it. Bye. Get ready with me to go to a college fashion show, a fashion show that I used to compete in when I was in college. And since I'm reminiscing a little bit, I felt like I should probably wear something that I made for that fashion show. I did that show multiple years. This is from the first year. I'm not honestly feeling that. Oh, this is, wait, this is not part of something I made for that fashion show, but it's really cute. Do you want to see it on? Look at the skirt. Oh, it's so cute. The little fringe. Um, this one's giving me a little house in a hurry, so no. I honestly think this is our winner. You can't go wrong with the leather dress. This is it. And it goes with my makeup. I have some blue in my makeup, so. Yes, ma'am. I did also paint these skyscrapers all over the dress. <gasps> Cute. Okay, shoes. I feel like these psychotic boots are the obvious choice, but it's like, it's a lot. Like, look at these boots. These are like eight inches tall. I'm like six three in these. Oof. Don't mind these shoes, which is I think what my mom wore during the photo shoot for this collection, but these go big or go home. I feel like <coughs> I honestly feel like any person this outfit ruins it because it's such a statement outfit. Like this, I just it doesn't go with the sleeves. So I think what I'm gonna do for stuff is put it in my mom's bag and make her carry it. Thanks, mom. Last but not least is accessories. I think the only go with this would be earrings. I love this little silver, what is this, dangly thing, because it reminds me of the skyscrapers and like the vertical strokes on this dress, but I lost the other one. So all we have are these pearls, which I think it'll do. Okay, final look. I just went to the beauty supply store so I could go pick up some hair. So I have the here. So I could go pick up some hair. Boom, it's literally my height. Um, outfit is, I ordered it on Amazon two days ago. It's still not here. Hopefully it comes in. If it doesn't come in, we're doing a whole nother outfit. Two different genres. Uh, I haven't showered. Dandruff in my hair. I'm gonna shower. This is my nails right now. I haven't brushed my teeth. I'll be back soon, hopefully. It's 6.03 after the event. I'm just took a shower. I cut my hair. Getting ready moves. As I said before, 
before my outfit is coming from Amazon, it says arrive by 10 p.m. I have to leave my house until 8.30. And I think I should do, like, the two different outfits I have is one is orange, one is black. If it's black, the outfit has to be strong, ponytail, glitz and glam. And I'm like, should I be getting ready for that outfit even if it doesn't come in? Because if I get ready for that outfit and it doesn't come in, I have to wear the orange, but then the looks is going to clash. Do you see what I'm saying? But right now, the goal is skincare and dry hair. Hair is dry, skin is moisturized, I'm gonna start my makeup. This is my hair and this is kind of my makeup. I'm gonna get dressed now. Drying with setting spray, but this is the final outfit. With some black heels, no coat, obviously, and black purse. And by that, I mean I will literally puke my guts out after like four shots. I'm convinced that I'm allergic to alcohol because every time I drink, my throat gets super scratchy and it feels like it's closing up and it's just like really uncomfortable and difficult for me to breathe. I don't know, like does anyone else experience that? I also get really bad Asian glow and it's patchy too, like literal red patches all over my body and my face gets swollen as well. It's just like not a cute look. I recently discovered Pepsin. I know, like super late to the party. It also gives me like a higher tolerance to alcohol. So, I mean, I'm, I'm loving it. Side note, for hair, I'm gonna do like a slicked back ponytail, but my clumsy ass recently burned myself with a curling iron. So I guess I just gotta rock that tonight. Just lightly dusting some bronzer on the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now because I gotta do my eyeliner. smoking this out and then for the inner corner I'm gonna grab a little angled brush like this one this is from Morphe and then I'm just gonna do this oh I forgot to mention that I primed my eyes with a little bit of concealer before doing all this I'm gonna dip into some black eyeshadow to set the pencil liner I think I'm gonna bring many trash bags because the layout of the club makes it really hard to get to the bathroom so I'm just thinking ahead for lip liner today, I'm going to use the LH Cosmetics Crayon in Sepia. Then going in with LH Cosmetics Majestic in Sepia. Alright, we're done with the makeup, the hair, the rings, and this is the fit. Alright, we're ready to go. Let Jesus take the wheel. See ya! Get ready with me to go to a party where I don't know anyone. So because I don't know anyone, I think I'm gonna go for something a bit more natural today. Taking the Bay Brow Styling Wax to brush up my eyebrows. I'm drawing in brow hairs with the Anastasia Brow Pen, literally the best brow pen I've ever used. For foundation, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. A lot of people don't like this, but if you have really dry skin, you're gonna love this foundation. Contouring with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. Using one of my favorite blushes ever, the She Glam, what is this? Orgasm Blush. This is the prettiest shade of blush I have ever used. I love it! Using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This stuff is magic. To make my makeup last all day, I spray my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray right before I apply any powders. And then I just press the setting spray into the skin. I am looking glowy. Using my favorite powder of life, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. This stuff is so good and keeps your under eyes so hydrated. Setting the rest of my face with the Kylie Cosmetics Loose Powder. Taking the makeup by Mario palette and I'm just going to add some color into the crease. It's gonna be super natural on my eyes today. Taking the cream shade and just putting it on my eyelids. I am making a wing with the House Labs liner. I just applied some lashes and now I'm putting some shadow on my lash line. House Labs Myth Lip Liner. This lip liner is beautiful. I'm applying some Kaja Beauty Love Swipe Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Sweet Softy. How cute are these? Some Kylie Cosmetics Salted Caramel Highlighter on the nose and in my inner corner. I just bought this lip oil and this is House Labs in the shade Primary. Great substitute for the Dior lip oil. Doing a final spritz of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip setting spray. I'm using the Living Proof hairspray to just make sure my hair lasts all day. This is the fit. This is a Zara top, American Eagle jeans, Steve Madden boots, and a Dolce & Gabbana purse. I'm gonna spray a little bit of Giorgio Armani Intense my way. I always get so many compliments every time I wear this. And yeah, we're all ready. Hey, party. 
Friday people, welcome to a get ready. So today we're getting ready for my school graduation party. Very exciting times. I'm trying to make this like a moment. Like the pictures, the vibes, we're creating a moment here. I got this white dress. Let's try it on. Okay, here's the dress on. I love it. I wanted to get something that like reminded me of being 10 and like what I would wear if I was that version of me again. Okay, this is off camera, but look. Backstory, when I was little, I was obsessed with hair bows. Like, I wore a hair bow in my hair every single day for probably 10 years. And my mom made me this white bow when I was younger. I lost the first one. After I lost my first hair bow, my first white hair bow, I was absolutely devastated and my mom made me this one to replace it. Anyway, let's get back to the fit. So, this is what we have now. And I think this is it. We just gotta add, I think a bigger hoop and then some shoes. Even with all white, I think we're gonna do these little guys. Honestly, the hardest thing about all of this for me is just that my childhood is over. Like, okay, these are things. Like, I just can't believe that I'm old enough to be like 18 years old. Like, where did the time go? Anyway, this is your ready with me. We're getting sentimental. Okay, this is the fit. Happy grad party.